Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is Larry still in Lisbon. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Find K pairs with the smallest sums. And, if, and it seems like I haven't done this before, so that's kind of fun. It's always nice to see a new problem. All right, so you're given two arrays in ascending order and an integer k. Define uv where one element from one element and then, okay. Return the k pairs with the smallest sum. Uh, I assume that we can reuse it. Um, and this is kind of uh, a really, um, how would I want to say it? Uh, it is a problem that comes up a little bit of, uh, often. Uh, maybe not this particular thing, but a usage of this idea of like repeated, uh, almost like a breathless search e thing, where you kind of like find the next possible element, and yeah, and I think that's the way to do it. Uh, of course, the first thing I want to take a look is that there's no easy naive solution because if it if n is like a hundred, then just come on, do it n squared. But but given that n is n and m or whatever is you go to ten to the fifth. Um, it's going to be too slow if you do something really naive, which is to create all possible pair and then maybe sort it or something. Um, however, you can do it in a, in better than that. So yeah. Uh, oh, actually, one thing that I did for uh, just realized is that it's in ascending order, so you don't even need um, you don't even need to. Do and ring that funky uh, because they're already ascending, right? So, but I think that part maybe matters a little bit less in the sense that if it wasn't ascending, we probably would have just sorted it. So, uh, I mean, of course, that factors into the final complexity and stuff like this. But, but given that they're already giving us that in a structured way, that's kind of nice. Okay, so hmm, how do I want to do this? Hmm. There are probably a couple of ways to do it. Uh, what is K again? There are probably a couple of ways to do it. Uh, the way that I think I think the, the important point about this problem is just not making silly mistakes uh, with respect to double counting. Uh, that's one thing that I would look for. And then the other thing is just uh, it is going to be greedy in some sense, as problems are. Um, but you know, you don't want to take shortcuts by accident, right? Which I have known to have done from time to time. So it happens still, even with me. Um, but yeah, okay. Ah. Well, keeping in mind that because in this sense, you are trying to um we turn repeatedly getting the smallest thing is why heap is kind of a uh, uh, maybe a tell i don't know if we would call it a tell but yeah so this is the heap and then there are a couple of ways you can think about it i think so yeah for um, Oh, I'm trying to poof in my head real quick. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I do this in the morning in, in this one, so it's uh, not 100% waking up yet. But I'm trying to think whether it is always sufficient to only care about one array and not the other. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, okay, let, let's start from the beginning, right? So the smallest number is going to be the small... Uh, so we can actually start with something like heap dot oh, heap. Uh, h um, and then maybe something like num sub one of zero plus num sub two of zero or index of zero, right? And then we can just keep track of the indexes from the left and right, right? Um, yeah, and then while length of h is greater than zero and k is greater than zero, and maybe we should yeah, store it somewhere, but that's fine. Right, then we subtract one, uh, hip q that hip pop of h. So we have the total, we have i and j for the indexes, and then we also have an answer thing, right? So yeah, then answer you 
pen, numbers of one of zero, uh, an array of this, numbers of two of zero, right? Yeah. And now we want to put in the heap. Um, something like this, but not quite yet, right? Something like this, but not not actually. So, uh, because this is going to run into some repeated numbers, uh, and that's why I said about double counting. Uh, and if I just make sure that I. Then make sure that you know this is just an n so that's basic things but it still can be that you're double counting right because if you think about just like a grid um a two-dimensional grid and you're basically going up you're going left one and going right one or sorry go, uh, however you want to do it right? but down and right right but then now if you go down and right like in a diagonal way then you're going to do a repeat number right so that how do we, we do it Hmm. Mm. I guess the way to do that is just. Hmm. How do we do it? Oh, excuse me. I mean, this would totally work, except for it's wrong, right? Uh, yeah, we can run it real quick. Uh, it gets to f see it already repeats. Oh, yeah. It already repeats because how does it already repeat? Actually, this shouldn't repeat quite like that. Hmm. Oh, well, it really repeats because I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, that's a silly. Yeah, so it looks good here, but but I think that's just coincidence, hmm? or like you know, bad test cases or something like this. Um, but that looks I don't even know. Why does it take so long? But yeah, you're double counting, so it's always going to be wrong. Like, here, here you go, right? Uh, you can see that. Huh. I guess the answers doesn't have to be unique. The answers don't have to be unique, but... And they sort it the other way first. But you can see that we, we count two, two double t multiple times, and that is just no bueno, right? So, hmm. So what can we do? to do it. I mean, I guess one way is just like to keep uh, a boolean away, but that seems kind of sketch, right? Like, can we be smarter than that? I mean, that, that would be a very uh, naive thing to do. And you don't even have to keep track of that many of it uh, in a set or something because K is 10 to the fourth, right? And it's going to only grow to the size of K. Um, but can we do better than that? <laughs> hmm. I don't know that we can, to be honest, and still, you know, keep the diagonal. I mean, I guess we can. That would be kind of cool way of doing it. Hmm. I mean, mm, I don't know if th that is quite true, but... Right. So, like, I think the idea is just to, like, exploit, um, but it's still, it, it makes it even, you know, it makes it more expensive in that way, though, because that, um, because it's going to end up all of case space anyway. What I was going to do is, 
you can start the you can start say k diagonals on the like if you think about it, it's a grid of ij pairs um you can think about it the the diagonals uh and then we put in the initial diagonals and then only diagonals goes down and right where you know you're the upper half of the triangle you go only right and you're in the bottom half you only go down so then in theory you can kind of like you know stretch it across um but but it's still going to end up taking all of k space only because if you start with diagonal it's going to be okay you could also say maybe we can start with diagonal diagonal but let's play around with that that seems like a fun idea to play around with though and I, today maybe i'm feeling a little experimentally so yeah so we start with zero zero duh, 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 right uh, if i is equal to j then we do uh, we go we try to go away we try to go down and we try to go diagonal say right else if i is greater than j what does that mean that means that it is on the bottom half so then you only go go to the i plus one part and go down uh else we just go to the right, right. something like that but yeah this is very yucky though i don't know i mean it it, it, basically it's just and this isn't like a, any special technique or anything it's just me trying to think like okay how what is like a, a an heuristic that allows us to just do it once from each direction right um so yeah um or like once not just from each direction but once in all directions sorry misspoke a little bit yeah um yeah, I think that's kind of cool, actually, is it? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think that... I mean, this is... I wouldn't say that I invented it because, you know, like... Like, who invents things anymore, right? Especially on the code. But but I don't think that... I, I don't know. I, I think it's kind of cool. I, I, I did come up with this, like, on the spot. So it's not like, you know, whatever. But anyway, so that's why I feel a little cool about it. But you, know, you may disagree. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. So, yeah. Um... Otherwise, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.